Okay, um, so I thought what I'd do was make a video blog instead of writing it because it's easier and I can talk faster than I can type. So um, I'm up here in Mount Glorious, uh, which is where I did a lot of the level design that I've been posting previously. Um, so I haven't updated for a while, which is because I've been working six days a week at the moment. So there's not a lot of time for anything else. And also my computer keeps dying. It's in the shop at the moment. Actually, I gotta take it back to the shop because it was in the shop and it was given back to me uh, in the same state that I gave it to them. It doesn't boot, so that's kind of a problem. Um, so what have I been doing recently? Uh, well, you've seen a lot of the level design that I did up in sketches and then in Photoshop. So what I've been doing from that is opening up UDK and white boxing it out. Um, so what I've done is Team Friendship has a single player and a multiplayer part. Uh, the multiplayer has to be played by four people and the single player is just one. Um, so what I've done with the environments is kind of intertwine them so that when you play as you know, as a single player, you're going through and around the environments that you see in multiplayer, but you don't really interact with them. And likewise in multiplayer, you, um, you're you moving around the environment that you see in single player, but you don't really interact with it. Sometimes you actually do cross over and, um, you know, you, a couple of times you reuse a puzzle that you've done in, you know, the other one. So that's kind of cool, but it's a real nightmare to design because everything's like just a knot of level design instead of you know like a corridor shooter or something but I mean that's alright so what I've been doing is I did all the, designed all the rooms like individually and then I put them all together in the multiplayer layout which is you know just this big knot of rooms and corridors and whatnot and then I white box that so now I've got all the single player rooms designed individually and now that I've got the multiplayer white boxed I'm going to um, kind of wrap all the single player rooms around that I think it'd be easier to do than try and do it all on paper together um, so I should in case you're kind of jumping in now Team Friendship is a game that I'm playing around with on with UDK and it's a first person puzzle game I guess kind of like portal in that regard and you got like a room which is a puzzle and you've got to get out of it to get to the next room and it's four player co-op and single player which I mentioned and yeah that's <laughs> it's not a big game that's pretty much it um, so yeah I've just been getting a lot of the white boxing done, like all the geometry of the multiplayer part is done and I've started scripting I'm up to about the eighth puzzle of multiplayer which is, there's 30 puzzles in multiplayer and 20 in single player so that's not too bad, it's just all in kismet at the moment and then um, as need be I'll start scripting things that kismet can't do but that's alright. Um, so the Something I haven't really delved too much into yet is like the art style and the architecture, which, you know, it'll come later once I've actually got the geometry in the white box to work around. Um, I've played with a couple of ideas, probably the... I've narrowed it down to really two art and architecture styles that I want to play around with, maybe do a look dev um, shortly, not quite yet though. One is a, um, like a retro-futurist style, uh, kind of like the 80s when they started playing around with, um, well not started, but you know, got more into graphic design and computer animation and stuff like that. It was all very simplistic, um, but distinct. And the other style is wooden blocks, as in like a children's playset. Um, so the whole level would be, you know, coloured blocks and kind of cutesy things like that. And the reason I'm doing that as opposed to, you know, 
uh, cyber noir or uh, post-apocalyptic or anything like that is because all that stuff's really detailed and it takes a big team a lot of time to do it whereas if you do something minimalistic where a whole wall will be one flat colour with a nice shader applied so it doesn't look boring then that's a lot easier to do and the turnaround's a lot quicker and you can really do it with one or two people so it's more minimalist, more style over poly count um, I mean not that there's anything wrong, I mean you look at games coming out like Hawken that's just insane what they've done and impressive but um, it's not something that I want to aim for because I'll probably just burn out trying so good on those guys um, so next is what I've been going to be working on is I'm going to keep on scripting the multiplayer puzzles um, you know I'll have to just do some basic modeling with um, kind of some of the props and stuff stuff that you can't do with BSP, CSG, whatever um, so I'll model those props and just really roughly just you know the dimensions that they need to be and nothing more and I'll import that into UDK and get all that animated and scripted with matinee and kismet and all that and then once all that's done uh, it would be nice to get it playable I'll have to um, get some help with kind of the netcode side of things um, and then we could actually kind of start play testing some of the multiplayer stuff which would be good uh, otherwise I'll obviously get into the single player side of things um, start clicking together all those puzzles and paste them the way I want them because there's different styles of puzzles and I don't want to you know put too many of the same sort together um, and then wrap that all around the multiplayer one so you know as I said you can walk through and single player and look down into a puzzle that you've previously been in in multiplayer and likewise um, so get all the single player white boxed and then scripted which shouldn't be too bad um, oh, I should mention single player obviously it's not cooperative I mean the, the four player puzzles you need four players to complete for the most part some of them you don't uh, where a single player it's a bit cliche but whatever it's you pushing like a, a box around onto pressure plates and things like that and basically the whole thing is a is an escort mission for you in this box um, I guess you could kind of compare it to like the companion cube in Portal except that what they did with the companion cube is they made it so that um, you need the cube to survive but what I'm doing is taking all power away from the box and making it so that the box needs you to survive so I mean it's not like I'm really trying to establish a relationship you know between the player and the box or anything like that but it would mean that all the um, the responsibility lies on you you know you're not using the box as a shield against plasma balls or you're not using it as a platform to jump across lava pits or anything like that it's just here's this absolutely useless inanimate object then you need to get it through the environment instead of it helping you through the environment so that could be interesting um, again that'll involve a bit of scripting that I can't do in Kismet uh, which might take a little longer but that's okay uh, so yeah that's where I'm at just getting it all going uh, if you have any questions um, probably send them through Facebook I guess would be the easiest or on the UDK forums uh, I've posted this blog in a few places like IndieDB and one up and that so I mean for whatever just if you have a question ask it I'll, I'll see it um, that's pretty much all at the moment um, so I'll try and do a video blog like this maybe once a week uh, if I can if I've got something to say if I don't then there's not much point doing one but once I get this PC repaired and actually booting which would be nice I'll uh, get back into it and I'll actually have something to talk about so I'll 
start posting screenshots. I mean, it's a wide box, so it's not going to be particularly interesting, but I'll post screenshots for people that are interested. Um, videos of, you know, it progressing and things that are happening in the white box and progress I'm making. I'm going to be fairly open with the development. I'm not going to be secretive. I mean, I'm not making Halo 4. I don't need to be secretive. People don't care enough to <laughs> try and find out if I don't put it out there. So, I mean, if you're interested, you know, uh, stick around and watch how it develops and that's all good. So, anyway, yeah, let me know if you have any questions, comments, whatever, and I'll post another one of these soon.